another warm day today. We hit 80 in some portions of the viewing area, 82 in Danville and Champaign. We're between 77 and 80 for the rest of the viewing area. As we look at our area conditions right now, we're seeing those temperatures begin to drop. We're still in the 80s for some portions of the area, but we are seeing those temperatures slowly drop. The sun is still shining, trying to keep those temperatures warm. But as we move over night tonight, and that sun sets, we're going to get down into the 50s, a low of 53 tonight, mostly clear skies. We also have a fire uh, in increased risk of fire overnight tonight. That's coming from the National Weather Service because of the dry conditions we've been seeing. Although we are not seeing strong winds, we have some light winds tonight. Southern winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, but they still do advise that you avoid any outside burning because of that increased risk of fire. Now, as we look at our breakdown for tomorrow, we're having yet another warm and dry day, a high of 77, mostly sunny skies. We are looking at some light winds yet again from overnight into tomorrow. Those 5 to 10 mile, mile per hour winds coming from the south. It's going to continue through tomorrow. Another beautiful day. Now as we look at Saturday, this is Saturday, uh, Saturday's breakdown now. We have a high of 78, so it's warmer. But you can see instead of light, rains that, light winds down here, we're looking at evening rain. So we're going to see those warmer conditions, but those winds are stronger. Southern winds at 10 to 15 mile per hour now. But we're not seeing any of that rain here. We're just seeing some sunshine, some mostly sunny guys we're going to see that rain move through into the evening hours on Saturday evening. Now as we look at our future cast here Friday at 3 p.m. we do see some rain some green spots on the rain on future cast here we're not expecting any rain on Friday we are seeing dry conditions so even if there is some in the atmosphere we're not going to see that reach the ground. That's a similar story for what we're going to see on Saturday morning. We see the opportunity for some rain moving through that's coming from the west we're not expecting that to reach the ground on Saturday morning or even Saturday afternoon. What we are expecting to reach the ground is some heavier rain that's going to be moving through later Saturday evening. This is around 11 p.m. This is going to be moving through right around 10 or 11 p.m. on Saturday night. We have the opportunity for some thunderstorms as well. We're seeing warmer conditions. The sun will be shining. That is some fuel for those thunderstorms. So it's something to keep an eye on as we move through Saturday. We, can cont we will continue to keep you updated with Scott Ely tomorrow, but we're seeing some heavy your rain Saturday evening. That rain's going to move through, continuing through into Sunday. We could see some scattered showers as we move into the early morning hours. Then we're going to see some lighter rain, but some heavier rain in the morning, then lighter rain for the rest of the day on Sunday. And that'll leave us with some breezy conditions by the end of the day on Sunday. We're also going to be seeing some cooler conditions on Sunday as well. Now Sunday, again, we have that rain, but we also have dropping temperatures. Those dropping temperatures, we have a high of 57 here. That's going to be in the early to mid morning. We're going to see those temperatures continue to drop throughout the day on Sunday. Monday, we have a high of 51. Cooler day, then we start to warm up as we move through the week next week. Now, looking at our rain project projections, this is for what we're going to see on Sunday. We're going to be between half an inch and an inch of rain. So some heavier rain Saturday night, and we're going to see rain throughout the day on Sunday. Then looking at our temperatures, a little visual for you for our temperatures on Sunday at 8 a.m. We're in that light blue or that green area, but by the evening hours, we see that dark blue move through. That's some colder conditions. We could be in the lower 40s by the end of the day on Sunday. Looking at our seven day forecast here, again, we have still have some warm days, Friday and Saturday in 77 and 78. Then we cool off on Sunday. Again, we see those temperatures drop throughout the day on Sunday, leaving us in the 40s by the end of the day. We are in, we're in the 50s on Monday, and then we see a warming trend throughout the week next week. 51 on Monday, 60 on Tuesday. The sun is returning, 74 on Wednesday, and 76 on Thursday.